let's do another version of the plum cake. With, uh, without the alcohol, okay? So plum cake and this is with, with egg what we are going to do. It's not an eggless one, this is with egg what we are going to do. So let's start and have a look at the ingredients. We need three eggs. I have sorted out the three eggs. If you see here, what I have done is, I have kept three eggs here, which is the white of the egg and three yellow of the eggs. I have sorted the eggs like this and I have kept. Then I need about 180 grams of the butter, okay? One and a half cup of the mixed fruit. Now, in this uh, bowl, if you see, it's not one and a half cup. It's more quantity because I'm doing many cakes. So, this is one lot what I have kept for uh, ready to go for the next couple of cakes. So, that is why. So, in this, what I have done is, for this cake, I will need one and a half cup. So, what are the fruits that I have taken here? I have taken here dates, black grapes more. Then I have taken cashew, I have taken the yellow raisins, then I have taken figs, then I have put uh, apricots, then I have put uh, cranberry, and I have put almonds, I put cashew as I said earlier as well. So any nuts that you have in your hand. For example, now there are people who say that they are allergic to some kind of a nut. Just keep, add that quantity of that and make it one and a half cup with all these nuts. And to it you add quarter cup of the orange juice and you soak it overnight and keep. So this is how I have soaked this and I have kept. Now these are very soft. Uh, normally what we do, for uh, people who are using alcohol we put brandy here. But in this case I put orange juice and I have left it nicely to soak. Keep in mind, the black raisins, the more you add, the cake tastes much better. One cup of the normal sugar, to it what I have done is I have put two cloves, one piece of the nutmeg and I have opened up two pieces of the cardamom here. The reason why I am adding uh, this uh, spices along with this here is because I am going to powder this sugar. This one cup of the sugar will be powdered well. So what happens, uh, normally I am not, I don't like to make a big portion or a little more of the spices and keep because this has to be more fresh. So what I feel is like when anyway we are going to powder the sugar, so put it along with that, powder this and keep. And you need little bit of the, cum, uh, the cassia as well. you need that also. In my case I have some powder with me so I am not using it here. If you do not have the powder, put the piece of the cassia also here and then make this a fine powder and keep aside. Now here I, to this egg part I will be using say a pinch of the salt okay and then what I am going to do is beat it stiff like how you beat for the meringue. If you tilt your vessel it should not fall down that much. I have shown you in my previous videos how you beat your egg. It is egg whites and make it nice fluffy. So do follow if you have. I will post all the links down for how to measure ingredients, how to use your oven, how to beat your cakes. Everything I will post the link down. So people who are very new, please go through that. You will get a more info how to beat it. If you see my previous cake videos, you will see me how I have shown you there very clearly how you can uh, make this uh, uh, the egg white nice snowflake like white like you have to beat it and take it up. The entire cake making for the plum cake taste comes from this. The fluffiness is from this what it comes. And 180 grams of the butter. And I have here a mixed fruit essence. Okay. And then moving to the all purpose flour. I have taken here one and a half cup of the all purpose flour. Normal flour. People who are very health conscious shift half half. Like uh, you can make wheat and you can make uh, the normal APF also here. Okay. And what I have done is half teaspoon of the baking soda. Then I put the quarter teaspoon of the cinnamon powder because I told you the cinnamon powder was ready with me. If you do not have the cinnamon powder here ready with you, just put a piece in the sugar and grind it, okay? And one teaspoon of the baking powder. Now give all of it a good mix. 
and now so this I have to see it so when I am adding it into the cake I will do this part and we have to do a caramel of the cake for the caramel so I will show you what ingredients I need for the caramel I've taken half cup of the sugar I'm just going to add it into this vessel this vessel doesn't have anything it's just a dry ingredient what I have added I'm going to put it on the top of the stove right now I'm going to heat it heat now Okay, I will start burning and making it caramelized and then I need quarter cup of the hot water. Heat is on. Okay. Keep it with lower and let it get caramelized. Okay. Now you see the sugar will start melting and turn dark. When it gets dark, we will put hot water, quarter cup into it and we will allow this to cool down very well. Now see, it's nicely caramelized and see nicely it's getting that toffee effect like right. Now, I'm going to keep the flame on a little low and I got the nice color that I want. So I'm just going to add the water. Carefully when you're adding the water. If you add cold water, it will melt down. Okay? It will become all hard. Off the flame. And now let this cool down completely. See how nice the dark color we have got, right? Let this caramel nicely sit here and get cooled well. On the other hand, I have put the egg whites and with the salt that I had shown you earlier, I'm going to beat that stick in the this side of the uh, the uh, cake making. What I'm going to do is I've added the 180 grams of the soft butter there. Today I'm going to add the sugar powder where we had added all the garam masalas like the cloves, the nutmeg and everything. I'm just going to add that there along with one egg first, egg yeah, the yolk first and I will start to beat this and incorporate this well. Okay, so like this. Because you're not going to add anything. Add and keep beating this and you mix because of the softness of the butter that will become creamy. Then we'll add the second egg. So like that, beat this to very well, nice creamy texture. My caramel is cold now. I'm going to add in the caramel. The entire caramel what we have mixed, okay? I'm going to add that. I've beaten the sugar and the egg one after the other very well. Now I'll add this also nicely and give it a good mix. Okay. What I did was I added two tablespoons of the all-purpose flour to this mixed dry nuts and I have mixed it up very well here. Reason being, if you add it plain straight into the cake, they will sink down. To mix this ready very well here. The butter and the egg with the caramel. Okay. I have put my oven to get heated at 180 degrees and it's getting preheated there. So let that go ahead. Now in the meanwhile, I will See this uh, flour which I have kept it in this bar. Remember in this there's baking soda, baking powder and the cassia. So just giving it a good mix here. Okay. And then mix well. The flavor of the cassia is coming out now because we had added that in the Flour, right? Give it a good mix. I'm going to add a little bit of the nuts also here. Little I'll keep which I'll be adding it in the end on top of the cake. See how the egg is. I have beaten it so stiff, right? So now put a little here. Mix. You don't have to beat now. Your only whole idea is to just to fold. Use a spatula if you want. If you're comfortable with a spatula, just use that. I'm gonna add the second portion of it.
Meanwhile, I have greased my tin and my tin is ready to go. Three eggs and this mix will be perfect. You don't have to add more caramelized water or anything. But just in case, I don't know how if some people find it difficulty for mixing. That's how it happens is if you don't beat your egg well, even the egg yolk well, then what happens is that the consistency will be very tight like you'll feel. So that time what you do is just wash and the vessel what you made, your uh, caramel, to it you can add one or two tablespoons of water and keep just in case of emergency. See? Otherwise it will become too dry this vessel anyway. Anyway I have to make more cakes. So what I have done is see I have just kept it here like this. In case I want I will add but looking at this I feel I will not be needing at all. So I can use it for the next. Okay. Now all we are doing is just giving it a good mix. Ensuring the white is not seen in the cake at all. The egg white is not seen and you get the caramelized very well into this cake here. Mix very well. Now the only ingredient left out is my fruit essence which I am going to add about nice one tablespoon. You see we have added half cup on the caramel and one cup on the powder sugar right. If you oh, really like sweet, very sweet, this is just perfect, okay? This cake measurement, what I am saying, is very, very perfect. But people who have sweet tooth, who want to have more sweet like, what you should do is you can add up another quarter cup more of the sugar. If by adding more sugar, nothing will happen to your cake, okay? Don't have the assumption that cake might go wrong or anything, no. Nothing will happen, you will enjoy the same cake with more sweetness, that's all. My opinion, what I feel is like, if we ever um, put more sugar and bake, it becomes too sweet and then after one piece, you feel fed up, you can't enjoy it more. But uh, whereas when you have a mild sugar with this nuts like this, Oh, I tell you, you make the cake in my house. This is my hubby's favorite. I was not here for Christmas. I was traveling, right? So that is the reason I missed out. But then I have some orders which are going for New Year. So I thought I will show you all the this. Now, our cake is ready. Put this at 180 degrees for 45 to 1 hour. Our rich plum cake is ready. See how soft it is. Can you feel the softness? And very tasty and rich plum cake is ready to go. Soft and nice plum cake.